Hello there, and welcome to RimWorld Alpha 12, episode 1. Try number 2. <laughs> so, the last colony sort of ended in a little bit of a, what should we call it, a bloodbath disaster in four episodes, so, you know. <laughs> but this one's going to be different. This one is actually going to be a collaboration between myself, and that, you know how that'll end, and Lacuna Gamers. So, there will be a link in the description to Lacuna Gamers' channel and also the playlist. But also, there should be, if I remember to do it, a card up at the top. Right. So, you know, click a link, have a look, see what you think of him. He, he does a lot of room world and he's looking to branch out and other things, but uh, it's good. It's, it's, it's entertaining. So, what are we doing? Well, first, hello. <laughs> I'm going to mouse going for a second then. We are, we are indeed, going to build our colony. And the way we're going to do it is, I'm going to do an episode. And then he'll do an episode, and Chris will do an episode, and I'll do an episode. We'll, we'll rotate continuously continuous like that. And I think that's uh, a good way of doing it, personally speaking. So, the way we're doing this is... I'm going to create the world and get the base set up. Uh, but we've got a couple of mods installed, so mods... We currently have EDB interface. EDB prepare carefully. The prepare carefully is not going to be used to up anybody's stats or anything. It's literally going to be used just to make sure we have four colonists initially. And the reason for the four colonists initially is so that you lot on my channel can put your hands up and wave your hands in the air and say, hey, me, 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 me. And say, why do I actually wave my hands physically? I have no idea. <laughs> me, 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 in the comments, you want your name, and I will put your name in the corner. I have, I can pick two colonists of name, and Chris will name two colonists from his channel. So, in the comments, put put your name down. Do you want to be a colonist? Do you want to try to survive and probably end up being killed? <laughs> and of course we have pawn state icons although it doesn't officially work with version 12 i have made it work by finding a nice version from the um over massive ultimate overhaul mod pack they had a modified version of it which works fine so you know yay <laughs> all right so we've got the mods installed our next thing is to create a world so there we go. Z, 9, Alpha, Sierra. Thank you. Generate me a world, and the world will be called... Malfark Mint... M Mintus. Minutus. Minmus, we're going to call it from now on. <laughs> Save and finish the world. And let's create our new colony. It will be Cassandra Classic. It will be rough. It may go up or down depending on how uh, well we do. Most likely I'll say rough and well in the game massacred, but you know... <laughs> defaults always good to start with and we'll choose our world Boop. okay so we've got a world and we can now take a look we've got a Eurofighter passing overhead as you can hear he decided to uh, drop in just a few seconds ago uh, I am going to look at something a bit louder so we've got some areas with a lot of uh, bits on it so let's have a look we've got 1.8 I want a bit, a bit cooler can we be a bit cooler uh, to, to, I want, I'm not care about the actual minimum temperature it's this uh, high temperature I'd rather it be that bit cooler um, 26, 22, 22, perfect. April, September, sounds like it is mountainous. Uh, I have looked at some of the large hills. There's just not enough um, things to dig into and hide behind and so that. So I'm going to try mountainous. We'll see how it looks. We'll see how it works. Also, oh, can we go back a second? I want to, uh, I'm going to increase it to a larger map, ever so slightly. Only slightly bigger, but bigger nonetheless. Cause I, I feel it'd be nice to have a little bit bigger map. Okay, so prepare carefully, add in the fourth colonist. I will come back to you in one second once I have picked the fourth colonist. And again, I'm just going to rapid, rapidly look. Okay, ready? And... Da -da 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 -da. Okay, welcome back. We have our four colonists. They are... Nag the Inventor, who is optimist, trigger happy, incapable of scary, which means a cat put out fires, but has a pretty decent animals and crafting. I haven't looked at these at all yet, these are brand new to me. Growing, yeah, okay, pretty good. We have Splint the Commissioner, who is a chemical interest, trigger happy, incapable of intellectual and artistic. Uh, not too much of a problem. Um, got three research and three analysis. We, we could do with it, we can bring people in. Um, basically, I think Commissioner's going to be our. Nag's probably going to be our research at the moment with three. Okay. Um, uh, we have Gordon, who has got green form, fast walker, careful shooter, who has mine. wow, mining, growing, construction, 
Uh, yeah, okay. Well, welcome. Yes, well, well welcome, welcome to Settler. <laughs> and John the Huntsman, who's got a teetotaler, masochist, and psychically dull. Incapable of intellectual, which again, researching, so that's not a major issue. Crafting of seven, though, pretty good. Shooting of 12. Oh my god, you're, you're going to be doing a lot of shooting. <laughs> okay, let's get these people down to the ground. I'm not going to alter any of this. We have a female husky with us. Uh, because we managed to grab... We only managed to grab stuff we managed to grab. We didn't grab anything extra, so... We, we start with three people supplies. It's going to be a little bit harder for us, isn't it? But we did get to choose our person, so, you know. Yeah. All right, so let's look at this map. Come on, give us a, give us a good map. Come on, come on, give us a good map. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. You know you want to. And... Okay, first of all, let's pick our crew weapons. You got a 10. Now, you were the best, so you're getting a rifle. You have a 5, 12, and a 1. Okay. You're not getting the rifle anymore. We've got a 12 for that. Uh, where's the pistol? Pistol, 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 pistol. Equip the pistol. John, you equip yourself with a nice rifle. And who had the zero? You got a one. You got a five. You find yourself the knife. Now, in case you're wondering, the reason why I didn't give him the knife, well, Gordon the knife, uh, the reason for that was because I want to make sure that we have a slot spell, so when the gun comes up, it'll go straight to the person who doesn't have one. Okay, so first of all, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's just unforbid all of our goodies we brought with us. There we go. Right, and let's find a place to put our base, because that is one of our most important things. Oh, now that will be a nice place to dig into. Okay, let's just go down the bottom first of all, make sure there's nothing down here we could use. All right, so we won't be somewhere high up, but I want to make sure we've got uh, a defensible position. That looks like a nice defensible position. There's no geothermal vents though. Ugh. Okay, okay. Geothermal vents are important. Where are they? Come on, where are you? One right there, but it's way too far down. Two there. Oh, you're tempting me. You're trying to tempt me into this area. No. Chris wouldn't forgive me for doing that. There's one right there. Oh, that'd be perfect for a base. Oh, I could block off that door there. Oh, it'd be perfect. The only downside is there's no way to mine in. We'd need to sort of set up a secondary base up here. Oh, we, we've got to build a base up here. Oh. oh, oh, actually, 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 look at that. A geothermal vent, a narrow entrance at the bottom. Going around the edge. Oh, oh. We could uh, block that off with walls, make it permanent entrance here. Yes, liking that. Hmm. And it's up against this main wall. Uh, it's a bit. I don't really like it being that close to the very edge of the map, because um, things can walk in off the edge. That's a downside. So what I'm thinking is we're building here. We're building here, and we'll tunnel through there later on and get that geothermal. But it's going to be a little while before we get to the geothermal anyway. So being that close to it isn't a major issue, and we, we can secure that separately. So ah. Ah, we can build in here. And if we can block that off quickly, we can trap all them inside. <laughs> Alright, so I think we're happy. Well, I'm happy anyway. Well, Chris will complain at me about me cho my choosing location. But, uh, you know, I did get to go first. So, <laughs> this is going to be it. Now, I'm not going to build up in the wall initially on this end. We're just going to get a room, get our things up and running. So, let's get started. Uh, zone. And get our stop panel moved in. Let's just tuck it back here for now. Oh, no. That's not. That's going to be a nice place for a room. I just need some uh, rooms and stuff up and running. So let's get our stockpile. Let's put it over here. Thank you. And immediately get us a growing zone because that is going to be very, very important to us. Now, I want the growing zone to be sort of down here initially because this is going to be where we're building. So I'm happy to you to grow. Uh, give me a... Give me a 10 by 10 there. And give me a... I'm going to over here. I'm going to put a little... Ooh. Where should we put it? Ah, over here would be fine. Over here, a nice 4x4 four four there. Now, the reason for the 4x4 four four is because I want to grow, because it's easy to get on, some Zerinium. And I have no idea how each person pronounces it differently, but no one actually knows how it's pronounced. And Neo, now, I say we should grow something relatively fast initially. Uh, I'm going to grow strawberries, and the reason for strawberries is that I know they can be eaten without a penalty if uh, needed. Uh, yeah, delicious even when raw. Whereas, stuff like the rice, uh, a low grain plant that thrives in rich soil, yields fast food, but it's not nice to eat uncooked. So initially, for the first crop, I'm thinking we do, we do strawberries, and that way, uh, if we don't get a chance to cook it, the food can still be eaten without a negative penalty. So that's just our initial growing zone. Um, let's get our guys set up with their priorities. There we go. Let's just 
do this on all of them. Let's get all the properties off because I do like to clear them down entirely. Uh, and I say I like to do so, I've never done it before, but I'm, I like the idea this time around. Okay, so everybody, firefighting. Uh, doctor, doctor, doctor. I want you all to prioritize it. You're all fairly high skills. Five, yeah, okay. Just prioritize it. You can't do it because you're just putting up killing somebody. Uh, patience, yes. Flicker switch, yes. Warden, uh, that'll be you. I want a one on it. Handling of animals. Okay, now we've got a four, a three, a three, and a nine. You can do that as well. Uh, we do need people, basically. Uh, I'm not going to put anybody on. I'm going to put it on fours, just so you've got it, so you can do it if you need to. But uh, three, three, four. Okay, not you, not you. You can do it as a as a last resort sort of thing. Yeah. All right, Cook. Who was I going to cook? It was you, wasn't it? A five and a four. You can do it as a priority. You can do it as a secondary. I need, might need to cook, that's all. Okay. You. Hunting. Um, you're the cook. So I will put you on hunting as a priority two. Um, if I give you a hunting command, I want you to do it, but only after you've cooked all the meats. Yes, that's a good idea. You can do it as a... Only have one hunter. It's just You're just risking it, really. You're risking it. Okay. Construction. Um, one for you. A two, one. Two, one. 2-1. I like to do that way around so when things get damaged they get repaired pretty quickly. I am going to put you on constructing at a 2. No repair because you're so slow at it, but uh, actually you can do that as a 2. Uh, but I just want to make sure we have people doing something we need it. Growing, 1. But you can make that a 2 there. Yeah, there we go. 1 for the growing because, you know, growing. And 1 for mining. Uh, I need everybody on... Uh... For you, you're handling animals, cooking. Yep, yeah, two there. Uh, put you on a three there. You're not going to mine at all, because that's just horrible. <laughs> uh, you can do it. And I want everybody on cook on growing early on. We'll have two priority growers. you got a three. You've got a two. You've got a four. But you need to be able to do handling. Uh I think growing is more important for you. I'm going to put you on mining first uh, because we have two growers. No, no. You asked me that around. Plant cutting. Everybody, I want you to do it. Just If I say do something, I want you to do it now. Uh, smithing. Tailoring. Art. Craft. I'm going to leave them all blank for now. We don't really need them until we have things to do with them. So we'll leave those blank for now. Hauling. Right. Everybody, priority one hauling apart from our cook and our grower. Okay. Very simple. If there's something to be hauled, haul it. If it's, if you, however, if you're doing these things, the more important stuff, don't. Cleaning will be a two task and uh, a three task. A three task. And research will do that when we get a research bench. And that's that's basically it. I think that's pretty good. Um, again, Chris will probably end up changing some of these stats. I've just got the initial stuff up. But we can now unpause the game. There we go. Everyone can go get their stuff, and they can start moving stuff and planting stuff and cutting down trees and stuff and you know. Stuff. <laughs> Alright, so initially, let's mine. I want to mine up this. I want to square this off. Because this is going to be sort of our, our first bed area, shall we say. But I am going to need to put down an initial structure. Now, what do we have material wise? We have wood. Uh, wood, 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 wood. We have, we have wood. It's just a forbidden for some reason. There we go. I will use some wood here, right here. I'm just going to build some wooden walls. Just there. To there. Stick a wooden door on it. Boop. And that's going to be our first room. And we'll put down furniture, sleeping spots. Boom, boom, boom. And go. So somebody should. Yes, good. Is that building? Faster. <laughs> and. Da -da 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 -da. Good, good, good. And get that bit done. And then we can make some beds in there. I will actually wall... I prefer to wall it off. Um, we have three sleeping spots. So that's not bad. Uh, orders. Mine. Could you just square that off a little bit for me? I, it kind of bugs me that it's a bit jag jaggy. Uh, <laughs> and they are planting our crops. Good. We have some stuff over here for uh, food. That reminds me. Uh, I, have a, I have a hunter set up. Hunter is John. John has a rifle. Good. Okay. I'm happy with that. Just, you know, in case we have to. I like to know the person going out there is not going to start punching them. <laughs> All right, so we got our first. In fact, let's do this way. Uh, deconstruct, deconstruct, deconstruct. 
let's harvest them before they go off because you know strawberries yum <laughs> and furniture give me some wooden beds and we'll plant them down now just boop boop and Ooh, boop boop cancel that one that one that one I'm trying to think of the best place to put them. Uh, keep that one there. Oh, actually, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Yes. Put one there, there, and there. Three beds initially. We'll move them later on, but uh, we've got three beds. And when they find that one out, I can put the fourth bed in. In fact, can you... Thank you. Prioritize that one. Because you can prioritize that for me. I can get that fourth bed positioned in. But great. No, that's not... that wasn't positioned. That wasn't positioned, now was it? That wasn't even close to being positioned, was it? Come on. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yes, there we go. Four beds. All the beds are in. We have the wood. Uh, I am going to ignore my request. I was about to do something then. And people are... Uh, hey, John. John, 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 John. John, John, no. No. You don't get to sleep on the floor when there's a perfectly good bed spot right there waiting for you to build it. You go on, build it. If you build it, you can sleep in it. No. If you build it, you sleep in it. There. And now you won't complain to me. <laughs> and every animal in the land sleeps. It looks like smoke more than that many Z's, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, so we've got the initial bedroom up and running. We are going to need some facilities to uh, run this. Now, I am planning on this not being a big area for us. Uh, but we need to get some... Okay, so I'm going to start with structures. I'm going to say with wooden walls for now, but I would like to get some of these stones turned into stuff, you know. So we want. I want to put the kitchen here, because this could end up being a refrigerator, or this could be a refrigerator, I don't know yet. But I think this could be a nice work area. So, bum, 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 bum. put me a wall across there and down to there. Sit me a wooden door there. And that should do it. Go. And we need power. Power! Solar generator or wind turbines. Ooh. Now, wind turbines are glorious, glorious things. Uh, but apart from the trees. So, wind, solar panels it will be. Let's plonk it there. That would be perfect. Run me a power cable to there. Full speed, people. Full speed. Building's important. And uh, production. There we go. Give me a steel uh, butchering bench. Uh, we'll get one square there. Da, 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 da. Steel butchering bench there. Mine that out. And then I can get a cook stove there. Come on, guys. You know you can do it. You know you can do it. We believe in you. We believe in you. As in, get your ass over here and start doing it. <laughs> there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Go on, and, 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 and. There we go. Okay. Uh, we are going to need a battery, which I'm going to place around. Thank you. Just there, just to keep the place uh, operational. Because we will be needing that. And... Oh, come on. You're out of range of the power cable. There you go. Have a power cable on me. In fact, no. No, we won't. Cancel, 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 cancel. Have a power cable. There. There you go. Uh, I am going to go to... Is it restrictions? Yes. Pause. Not pause. Uh, I want you doing anything you two. I don't want you sleeping. You don't get to sleep there. No. No, 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 no. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours right there. And have a bit of joy. Have a bit of joy together. Okay? Yeah. Not there, though. There. Nice hour of forced joy. Forced joy for everybody. <laughs> oh. And the battery's charging. Okay, now we can come up here. We can say the butchery table will butcher creature forever. And the food will build me simple meals and fine meals. Yes, I know. Now, the way I like to do this is I say build me simple meals, but do not use meat. No meat at all. And the reason for no meat at all hmm, is because all the plants and the vegetables and stuff can be used for simple meals. And do me until you have... We've got four people. Uh, ten meals should do. Now, the fine meals, they get to use them. The uh, They get to use it. And we do that until we have... Oop, ten of them as well. Now, we won't initially get, probably get any fine meals. We have no meat. But when we have meat, that's when it starts to sort of really come to its own. Can you harvest these if there are any? There aren't any. Okay, fair enough. Could you cut down these trees because they're getting in the way of everything? Thank you. 
And there's Nag. Nice at doing it. Okay, good. Full speed. We got people sleeping during the day. We could do with some light bulbs, but uh, what's our power situation like? Uh, okay, we should be fine with that. I'm going to plonk down a couple of light bulbs just because it gets a bit dark in our work area. Uh, boop. And our sleep area. Mm, boop. Okay, so they're only temporary. Uh, we'll probably end up building up here at some point. I am just squaring off the mountain. Um, my OCD is basically going, you know what? This thing is not square. We, we, we should do something about that. There we go. That's perfect. I'm not going to do that. That's trim it off a bit. That's uh, Over here, I like that little notch. We can make that into something that could be useful. We've got some silver there. Okay, I am liking where we are. We are in need of defense turrets, but I'm going to leave that up to uh, Chris to do. Um, battery is draining, but it is a night time. That, by the way, that symbol there means idle. This we have one idle columnist right now. Splint, why are you idle, Splint? Splint, 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 splint. Because you got nothing to do. Ah. If you got nothing to do, go mine. Oh, and grow. Oh, yeah. I'm putting on lowest priorities because you know they're slow at the jobs, but they can still do them. So there we go. Okay. It's asking me to name the colony, and I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to end the episode. So I'm going to call this one. Da -da -da. Oh, oh, oh. Cursor stay. Stay. Good. I'm going to call the, the colony. Now, it's only an unofficial name. Uh, but I'm going to call the colony Multitopia. Multitopia. So, it's only unofficial, unless uh, unless just likes it, then welcome to Multitopia. <laughs> But for now, we have the initial things up and running. We are just about ready. Chris can get up our defensive line and uh, block us in if he wishes to do so. If not, we can just do that later. But for now, we are up and running and everything does appear to be working quite nicely. So all I can really say is... Comments in the comments. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. And go check out episode 2 over on Chris's channel.